Good afternoon, everyone. Um, sorry for the slight delay. I was uh, a bit behind today. I was recording my videos and then I needed to quickly eat something. So hence why I'm a little bit late. I can only apologize. I um, hope we're all OK. Hope we're having a nice day so far. I'll expect my assistant manager, Josh, to be here at any point. And uh, we'll get the save started. Well, I've loaded up the save. We'll get going in a minute. I'm just trying to promote the stream, hoping a few of you lot will turn up. A few people will turn up, hopefully. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Hope we're all having a lovely Wednesday. Just uh, bear with me two seconds, I've nearly finished. Right, that's the promoted side of it done. Let me get my Twitch channel up so I can see what people have been posting. Anybody in already? Is Josh in already? No, no one in. Right, and let's get cracking. So we've got this game here in the Champions League. Um, I don't think there's anything major to tell you about the lineup. Pretty much straightforward. So let's just see how it goes. Really enjoyed the first stream yesterday. Thank you for people that tuned in and watched. Uh, thank you to Josh who contributed. Right, first highlight of the game. Nicely defended by them. A lovely little bit of header tennis going on there. That was a beautiful little goal. Pedri. Reminds me, reminds me of uh, when I was a kid when we used to play, my mates used to play heads and volleys in the park. See how many headers we can get before we scored. Hope you're all having a nice day. Hope you've been up to, been up to something exciting. I've been... Basically, since I got up, I've um, popped into town and then I quickly recorded a few videos for the rest of the weekend. Good goal there. Going to be disallowed by the looks of it though. So yeah, not the most exciting days, but I've got it done. So now I've got the rest of the week to just do streaming. Uh, just relax a bit. So yeah, we're 2-0 up. That goal didn't get disallowed in the end. Josh will be happy. Mika Faye's doing well. Got another assist. Becoming a really good left back, to be honest. Then again, I think even I could be a good left back in this team. Can we get another one? We certainly can. Absolutely steamrolling in this game. 16 minutes gone, 3 0. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I haven't got a clue who we're bloody playing, actually. Who are we playing? I don't know. Oh, Royal Antwerp. Who uh, won the Belgium League last season in real life, so fair play to them. But they are getting absolutely destroyed in this game. Feel sorry for him in a way. This uh, Barca, this tactic I'm using specifically for Barca to try and replicate their real life play, real life tactics, is uh, working very nicely. We've had two goals from Pedri, one from uh, Ferran Torres, and one from uh, Geo Felix. Oh, pardon me, I do apologise. 
Right. Gavi. Out wide to Ferran Torres. Torres. Look at that. Another goal. Pedri gets his hat-trick. It's only 35 minutes gone. Have we got any players that can... Young players that we can put on in a bit? Make their debut? I think everybody's... Pocho, I don't think he's playing. Uh, yeah, we definitely can put some... Young players on in the second half. I feel like we need to give them a run out. We'll wait till like the 60th minute just to be on the south side in case we get some injuries out of nowhere. But yeah, Pedri's got his hat trick. Fran Torres has got two assists and a goal. Felix has got the other goal. Uh, Mika Faye's got an assist and Arujo has got an assist. Right, let's put on some of these young players then. So we've got him. He can come on for Pedri. Great performance by you, Pedri. We'll take off Rafinha. We'll put. Uh, no, we won't. We'll put Alcaron. Uh, swap them about. And then we'll take off Felix, and we'll put on Yamal. And then typical, I get players that are knackered in the last two minutes after I've just done that. Cancelo and Baldo, there we go. we just got to hope now we don't get any more injuries. Oh, they've got a goal. Would have been nice to keep the clean sheet, their first shot they've had on target and it's gone in. Hello Josh, if that's you that's just come on to the switch. Good afternoon, young man. You haven't missed much, I'm just playing this game here. We're winning 5 1. Absolutely destroying Antwerp. Uh, if that's not Josh that's joined the Twitch chat, feel free to say hello. I'll give you a little shout out. If you can't see your chat on here, I don't mind chatting to you about football manager or football or wrestling, whatever you want to talk about. Right then, 5-1. Good start to the stream. I wish this uh, Saudi Arabian team would stop going for him. Uh, oh, he's all... Yeah, he doesn't want to sign a new contract because of the interest in, from that Saudi Arabian team. He is exceptionally good though. I do not want to get rid of him. Um, we've only got him for... Three years as well. So we could do with signing him a new contract at some point. Oh, great. Fame and Ica after him as well. <sighs> He's a key player for us. The reason why we play so well is we've got a very good defence that helps us attack. Uh, right, Valencia next game away. Um oh I thought that was the other I thought that was the other player then. Yeah that's fine. Right. Who are we gonna replace you with? Belletti? Mm, maybe. Uh probably be, maybe him. We definitely need some better coaches in the under eighteens. Yeah, we'll get rid of Belletti. Um, spoiler alert for anybody watching the YouTube series, um, Monday's episode with Rafe Rovers is going to be quite interesting. Um, not Monday's, sorry, I apologise. Sunday's, Sunday's YouTube episode is going to be an interesting episode. Um, managed to, I've managed to turn the corner with Rafe Rovers. I've actually won every game I've played, I think so far. I think it's every game. But uh, yeah, 
including a, a giant killing win over a very big Scottish team, not Rangers or Celtic. A team that somehow got relegated from the Scottish Premiership last season. I'm absolutely shocked by it, to be honest. But yeah, we've made some decent signings at Rafe Rovers. Hopefully, I'm going to sign Deli Ali as well. I've just got to wait for him to stop being so greedy. Talking to Deli Ali, can I sign him? Can I sign him for Barcelona? I think he's still at Everton, isn't he? I might sign him on a freebie next year, though. Oh, did I type in bloody Barcelona then? What an epic error by me. Right. There we go. If we can't sign Messi, we're going to sign Deli Ali for Barcelona. Right. Here's the lineup for the game against Valencia. Um, Yeo Cancelo comes in as right back, but other than that, it looks pretty much just Al de Jong's in midfield again. But yeah, that's pretty much straightforward team as last game. Mika, uh, Mika Fay is um, doing very well. Yeah, Deli Ali for Barcelona, Josh. Good afternoon. Your uh, your your man Mika Mika Fay is doing well. I'll show you in a minute. How are you today? You all right, Josh? What? You, you, how's work? You haven't missed anything. You've only missed one match. Uh, we won. We won five one against Antwerp. But yeah, here's Mika Faye. I mean, he does need to do better in training, but um, one got... Oh no, sorry. Yeah, two assists so far this season. He's uh, he's doing very well. Yeah, if I can't get Messi, I'm signing the next best thing in Deli Alli. The real Lionel Messi. The English Lionel Messi is Deli Alli. If anybody argues with me, I will just show you that goal that he scored where he clipped it over his head and then volleyed it when he turned around. That's all I need to do. No matter what happens afterwards. he become an instant world world class player then. Ah, there we go. Mika Fay, another assist for him. You'll be happy, Josh. Oh, the AR might interfere though. Oh no, goal awarded. Mika Fay becoming an assist king here at the moment. I'm hoping if he carries on performing, his uh, current ability and his potential ability will go up because at the moment it's only three stars. Young, De, uh, De Jong had to come off already because he's knackered. If we win this, we're only two points behind Real Madrid, so that's good. Right, free kick to us. All right, Baz. Nice to meet you. I'm liking the name, Bazinga. Are you a uh, Big Bang Theory fan by any chance? How are you today? Are you okay? What brings you to this Twitch channel? Are you from... Are you? Uh, did you find my post on Facebook or Twitter? Or are you just, are you just come on here on the off chance? Kind of Big Bang Theory fan. Josh, you need to you need to disappear from this Twitch stream right now and watch that Big Bang Theory. You're missing out. Um, Bazinga, Zona Mr. M is my friend Josh, by the way, before you get confused. Oh my god, we're actually losing. Josh, this is your fault. I was doing well until you come along. Oh, you saw me on a recommendation channel. Who recommended me, if you don't mind me asking? On Twitch, was that? Right, 2 1 down. We're not happy about this. We're not going to lose this game. Yeah, it'd be nice to know what that channel is so I can say thank you to them because that's really nice of them to do that. Oh, okay. Do you know what the? Can you, do you know what the channel was? If you don't, don't worry about it. It's 
I just want to thank him, really. That's that's all. But if you don't, don't worry about it, mate. If you can send, if you can post the link in the chat to the channel thing that you that you saw me on, I can then at least say thank you to him. Um, Valencia look like they're going to win this game, which is really frustrating. We're Barcelona. We don't lose. Come on. That's it. Go. Go on. That's it. That's it. Go on. Ah, we need Messi back. We need Messi back. We will get Messi back at some point. I promise you that. Even if we can't get him back as a player, we'll get him back as a coach or something. At least I still technically brought him back to the club. Um, don't worry about it too much, Baz, if you if you if you can't find it, mate. Just um I appreciate you coming along. Um Are you a fan of football manager? Do you do you play it much? What's your what's your friend's name if you don't mind me asking? It might be one of my friends on um that's decided to do that. My one of my actual friends. My real life human friends. <laughs> Right, we haven't got a game now. We lost that. I'm disappointed by that. First loss of the season, I think. Right, I'm going to holiday until the next game. What team are you managing at the moment, Baz? Yeah, I'm just really baffled who recommended me. I mean, like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a nice thing. Um, I just want to, I just want to know who it was so I could thank him. Are you able to get in touch with them yourself? Can you just say thanks from me if you get chance, if you don't mind, if that's not too much of a, an issue? I would appreciate it. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Um, so how are you doing with Strasbourg at the moment, then? I think uh, at some point, I think jo uh, my friend Josh did a save with Strasbourg, didn't you? But I think you got bored of it very... I think that was the one that you got... You, you, I think you were runners-up in the league, weren't you, Josh, if I remember? It was a recent one. It wasn't that long ago. Right. Come back off holiday. Let's see what's happened in the meantime. Uh, I'll go a little bit slower. I'm used to pressing this a lot quicker. A lot of these are pointless, not worth looking at. Right, just praise them too. Send him for his National B licence. Uh, Pedro's not happy, what a surprise. You bought two Korean players, oh fair play. I thought with Strasbourg, because they're owned by the same people that own Chelsea, I would have thought um, that they get quite a bit of money. But I don't think they do on FM. I don't even think that they're actually the owners of the club. I think it's still the previous owners. I don't think it's been updated yet. Oh, here you go, Josh. One for you. Michael Laldra has um, took the time to sing the praises of the Inform Mika Fay. I think I'm going to praise him as well. What's this other one? 
Yeah, Lionel Messi. There we go. I'm going to get Mika Faye. He's going to be the secret weapon and bring in Lionel Messi back. Yeah, he is pretty good. Um, yeah, so Baz, um, basically I've only just started the save. If I quickly show you how we've done so far. Um, so we only started it yesterday, but we managed to get quite a few games done. I was undefeated up until that game that you just watched. So that isn't a, we've been absolutely storming it at the moment. Um, I think we've only drawn one game as well. But yeah, we're doing well. No, what what are you looking to strengthen? What position are you what position are you looking to strengthen? Even though you got you got two million in the bank, but it doesn't mean you 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 could probably um get a player for ten million and then then just pay it off in forty eight months, can't you? So you could just do that. That's what most people do, don't they? So you could sign a ten million rated player or an eight million rated player and pay it off in four years. So that way you can use that two million budget a bit better. What positions are you looking to strengthen again? What did you say? I can't remember now. You need a centre back and a right back, and you got two million. Um, Strasbourg centre back. Josh, any recommendations? Josh is my assistant manager slash chief scout, so he's usually the one that tells me who to sign. Uh, have you looked at the free transfer? Have you have you looked at the transfer market for free transfers? Maybe if you search for free transfers, and then if you just click on like who's had the most international caps, you might just you might just find somebody. Even if it's just a short term solution, or are you able to loan players, or is that the is the window shut now? Right, Rafina. Drives it forward. Beautiful pass to Pedri. Pedri, get in. Go on, Pedri. Fifth goal of the season. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. But also as well, Baz, feel free to spread the word. Um, we'd like as many people on here as possible. Try and build a community. Um, I'm also on YouTube as well, Baz. On the set, under this, if you search for Lucha FM, um, you'll find me on there as well. I've got loads of content on there. I mean, I've only been doing it six weeks. I've had about four or five saves, but um, some of it's not been my fault really. But yeah, I've got I've got a current season, a current series with Rafe Rovers, which is a complete contrast to Barcelona. So you might enjoy that for different reasons. Yeah, Kobe Maino is a really good player in real life, and he's pro he's pretty good on FM, and he so you can't go wrong with him. But he's a central midfielder. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of um, centre backs and right backs. I'll have a look. I'll I'll do a player search in a minute. See if I can. Oh no, there's no point me doing it because Barcelona will just get recommended all the good players. Um. Have you posted in the? On the side games forums, somebody might be able to help recommend you somebody there. What's just have just get your scouts to do a recruitment focus on centre backs and right backs that are uh, and just try and sign the cheapest ones. Right, is this going to be allowed? Yes, get in two nil. Lovely, lovely. Posting against these so far. Yeah, just do that. It's still bugging me, Baz, who, who, who recommended you. Can you not do... Um, are you still on the thing that you, that recommended me? Or have you left it so you can't go back in there? Can you try and copy and paste it into the chat? If you can't, don't worry about it. It's fine. 
I just find it surprising that somebody's recommended me, and I've only been streaming for six weeks. It's it's a it's a massive it's a it's a uh, it's massaging my fragile ego. So that's, that's nice. Yeah, FM Insights a good website. Um, FM Scout's another good website. Yeah, go on if you type in fmscout.com. Um, that's a really good website for if you need if you get stuck. Um, and there's loads of files on there and everything, and logos and kits and all sorts of things. Are you from the UK, Bas? Get in. Another great goal. Where, where in the UK are you from? Unless obviously you don't want to tell me. I'm not asking for an exact location. Don't worry. North, south. You don't need to tell me. I'm from the. Uh, I'm from near Birmingham. Birmingham. Right, let's take Rafina off and put Lavina in. I don't think we can take anybody in that side. Right, 3 0 up. Not long to go now. Gundongan is out for four to five months. That is not good. We will miss him. He's a very good option for us to have as a uh, on the bench. Right, have we got anybody? Yeah, we're going to have to call you up to the senior squad. Qualify for the final 16 of the Champions League. That's always good. Oh, okay, cool. Um, my mate Josh, who's um, Zona Mister on in the Twitch chat, he's from Brighton, it's so not far from you. So, uh, what football team do you support then? Picking up a few injuries now, that's, that's a bit annoying. We don't have the biggest squad in the world at Barcelona. I mean, we do in a way, cause, but we got, but not all of them can make the step up to the first team straight away. It's going to take us a few years before we get a, a, a decent squad. De Jong's apparently on the move. No, I don't want to sell De Jong. Would a new contract help? Um, for my sins... I am a Man United fan. Which team do you support? My dad's a Spurs fan. Um, yeah. So I would probably say Spurs is my second Premiership team. Aston Villa is probably my third favourite team because they're local. And then I lived in Leeds for a bit as well, so I quite like Leeds. So I do have a few teams. Man United is the main team I follow. Oh, you're a Tottenham fan. Oh, fair play. Are you are you liking the new manager? Oh, we don't. I don't like your dad and your uncle now. Then now I'm only joking. It could be worse. They could be Liverpool fans. That'd be way worse. Were you rejoicing when you heard the news that Klopp's retire, um, Klopp's leaving Liverpool at the end of the season? It was quite funny just to see all the Liverpool fans have a meltdown.
Right, we've got a game against Alaves. Deportivo Alaves. Um, I won't bother going through the team. It's pretty much the same. Oh, we've got Elaxis making his re-debut. Uh, Lamine Normal starting. Uh, yeah, we'll see how they get on. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I like. If he wasn't a Liverpool manager, I'd probably like. Klopp. I like his um, enthusiasm and his energy that he brings. He completely transformed Liverpool from a top eight team to a potential Championship winning team. Obviously, he won the Championship and Champions League. Um, they'll probably go back to. Ah, oh, there we go. Yamal's got his first goal of the season. Um, Liverpool will probably go back to being like a top six team now. I think now Klopp's left, especially if Salah's going as well. Because let's be honest. Salah was the the guy that won them the Premiership in the first place, I'd say. Yeah, um, Klopp nearly left a, uh, last season because of, the fact is the team was just um, not good enough. So he, he thought, oh, I'm going to leave. But he stayed another season, rebuilt their potential title contenders. I'd still say it's Man City's title to uh, to lose. It usually is every season. So are you on here to skive work? Are you skiving work or you got the day off work? I don't even know how old you are. How old are you? Oh, thank God for that. Right. Oh, okay, cool. What do you do for work, if you don't mind me asking? Right, corner to us, Rafina. Floats it up. Stay by the keeper. Oh, okay. You you got I bet you've gotta be like really smart to do that. Fair play to you. I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm not I'm terrible at drawing. I've got mod, I've got like a mild version of cerebral palsy, so I can't even colour in the lines in the colouring books. I wouldn't be good at that. But uh no, that's quite that's probably quite you probably quite enjoy doing that. Have you um have you designed any any buildings that are quite um, famous buildings or like I know they're new buildings but well known buildings You say you're renting. No, I said, have you, have you, you know, like, because you're obviously um, an architecture designer. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry. Oh, okay. Fair enough. But it's a start though. You don't know where that might lead you. Did you have to go to like university to learn all that then? I assume you would. Right, we haven't got a game for 13 days, so a holiday till the next game. Oh, okay, congratulations. So um, what's the long-term plan then? Is it to basically just keep on doing this and then just get better and better and make more money? Is it good money doing it? I assume it is. Because you can't just get anybody doing it, can you? Because there's a lot of things that you've got to take into account, haven't you? Um... I bet you love playing games like City Skylines, don't you? I bet you love playing that. I cannot play that. I can. I. I can't figure it out. I don't even know how to do a bloody create a road or anything on it. But um, I like watching other people playing it. There's an actual. There's an actual guy who plays it, and he and he's on YouTube, and he actually is a city planner in real life. So he he actually plays. He, he's a he's a real life city planner. 
and he and he's playing City Skylines, so that's quite good. So he talks about what he would do in real life if this was happening in real life. So it's very interesting. I mean, some would say it's interesting, others might be really bored by it. Is there a big community on FM Inside Bass? Is it worth me posting my um, videos and when I'm going to stream on there? Do you think I'd get many people involved? Project High Rise game. I've never heard that before. Let's have a look, see if that's any good. Oh okay. Oh, that's that. That that would make me nervous. That game, that Project High Rise game, because it'll make me feel like the building's gonna break at any point. But yeah, it looks all right though. Um, if you wanna post it, you can do Baz, or you can just I could post it later or something, or, or next time. I just want to know if there were if there was a decent community in there, um, just so it helps me build. Um, so basically, I'm currently unemployed. I've got like a small eBay shop where I sell close but i've um got rid of a lot of my stock recently so i'm basically trying to find another way of making money where i don't have to actually get a job so i decided to try and do the content creation stuff um i'm not i'm not like unrealistic i don't expect me to make any money but if i do um even if it's like a couple of hundred quid a month or something like that um, as long as I'm contributing to my bills with it and stuff like that, uh, I'm happy with that. I don't need a massive amount of money. I'm quite happy how I am. So, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do, really, is trying to get popular enough. Yeah, I do post... I, I created a, po uh, a Twitter account... But I just post on Twitter. I don't know whether I'm supposed to hashtag anything or... I mean, I hashtag, like, um, Barcelona and Messi, and that's about it, really. So I don't know if there's any Twitter pages that you would recommend for FM where I can go in there and post it when I've released a video and stuff. Do you know any big football manager Twitter communities? There you go. I'll have you... Baz, I'll get you in charge of my... Um, you can be in charge of my PR department, promotions and stuff like that. I'll hire you. Can't pay you, but I'll hire you. <laughs> right, we've got Oceana next. They are bottom. We are now third, which is really annoying. Why are we third? Let's have a look. We are third, and we are... Oh, my God. We are nine points behind Real Madrid now. It's going to be... We've got... Oh, we've got three games. We don't need to worry. We've got three games ahead of them. I was panicking then. Right. Uh, a pretty much unchanged team from what I can see from the last game. Yeah, let's go. No, don't worry about it too much, mate. I was only joking about you being my child. <laughs> I do appreciate it, don't get me wrong, but um, no, don't worry about it too much. I usually stream every day, Monday to Friday uh, at 2 p.m. So I'll be back on about 2 p.m. tomorrow as well. So by all means, come along. If you want to advertise the channel yourself, that's fine. Um, or just, like I said, I'll, I'll do it myself uh, if need be. I've got plenty of time on my hands. Uh, that's not good. Why are we losing to these? Yep, 
Yeah, that's fine. You never know. You might have. You and Josh might have walked past each other without realizing. He's from Brighton. You might have crossed paths at some point. How long have you uh, been doing your Strasbourg save then? You've only just started it. You're in season one. I think he, you're probably not. You're probably not like me and Josh. Me and Josh will get through a season very quickly on FM. We have a bit. We have a bit of free time on our hands. Oh, there we go, Mariba. Is it? Is it going to be disallowed though? Mm, VAR's checking it. Yes, goal awarded. Mariba gets his goal. Oh, half a season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, does it take you a while to complete the season? Because obviously, you're probably quite busy with work and stuff, aren't you? I can do a season within about. If I just sat here all day. I could probably get a season done within about seven or eight hours if I didn't move. Especially as when I do it offline, I tend to just click on instant result, which obviously gets the season through a lot quicker. I don't do it on stream or YouTube though, because people like to watch the highlights and stuff. Right, let's see if we can win this game. They've been the better team so far, but let's change that now. We've got the quality to destroy them, we're just not pulling the trigger yet. Cancelo to Felix. The Yayo brothers. Yayo Felix and Yayo Cancelo. Is it Yayo Cancelo? Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, fair play. It's, I think that's how you that's how you do well in um in business. If you get friends that will ask you to do stuff, um, you know, yeah, it's good to have friends that have got shops and stuff because then you can help them when it comes to things like that. Right, corner to us, or is it a throw in? No, it's a throw in. Okay, Rafina. Oh, right. Let's take a few players off in the last five minutes. Uh, Pedri. And then we'll... Oh. Uh, we'll take Cancelo off then. Yeah, it's probably for the best, isn't it? If you've got to go to Brighton and back, you might as well just stay in an air. Did you enjoy your time in the in Brighton in the uh, Airbnb? Right, corner to us. Ooh. All right, I think that's it now. I think that's the end of the game. We had a bit of a scare there, but we've done all right. Right, we've got... We're six points behind, but we've got two games as well. So we can get equal on points at the moment if we carry on. I'm going to rotate some players in this game because of the fact is we've already qualified. So we don't need to worry too much. I'm just going to praise Rafina, Gavi, and Yeo Felix for their performances. Oh, that's nice of them. That's nice of him at the Airbnb. Did you have a nice time in Brighton? Did you go around and see the sights of Brighton, or um, have I just? Hold on. Oh no. Oh no. What have we done? No one can pay. No one can. No one can afford him anyway. Has he got a minimum fee? Yeah. No one can afford him. You're not going anywhere, Pedri. That would be really annoying. That the whole point of doing this Barca save is to build a team with these prospects, and then all the prospects want to leave. Right. 
nothing worth talking about there in the inboxes. Nothing worth, oh, I don't mm, Torres out for a few days, so he's not going to play this game, but he wasn't going to play anyway. Josh, want to uh, want to recommend any anywhere in Brighton if you're still there? Um, to to Bazinga, Josh, Josh could Josh could probably meet up with you for a drink at some point if you ever go back down there, mate. Um, he knows he probably knows all the best places to go in Brighton. I went to um, Tottenham Stadium with my dad last year. He's never been to the new stadium. So um, last year for his birthday, I took him to the new Spurs Stadium. And um, it was a nice day. Um, the the travelling was a bit annoying because we got the train there and back. But, um, oh, I just clicked. Oh, no. Oh, I was meant to rotate the team. Oh, well. Um yeah, but it was a really, it's a beautiful stadium. Really, really nice stadium. There was lots of, um, there was lots of people from Korea in the group of people that was in the stadium when I was there. They all wanted to try and see if they could see um, Sun or something, apparently. So um, they went to get merchandise for from him. Oh, what a goal. Oh, it's not going to be allowed though, is it? I really wanted to rotate players in this game. I'm so annoyed. Yeah, goal disallowed. Um, let's type in FM Inside. There we go. I'll have a look on FM Inside now. Oh, I don't think I've ever been on MF FM Inside, actually. It looks new to me. They don't have a... No, they don't have a phone. I'll have a look at that website later. I've never been on it before. I thought I'd been on it before, but I haven't. Right, we've got a penalty. Sorry, I got distracted there. Penalty, Rafina hesitates, but then shoots and scores. Fifth goal of the season for Rafina. I just want to get to January so I can try and sign Messi. I'm hoping I can sign him in January. I signed him for Newcastle in season two. I thought he'd definitely jump at the chance of going back to Barcelona. Oh yeah, did they enjoy being at the Spurs Stadium? They had really good hospitality at the um, Spurs Stadium as well. My dad loved it. He had a massive smile on his face. Uh, he really enjoyed it. He's not the type of person to go all the way. He hates London. So he 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 went a couple of times to see Spurs when he was younger. But no, nah, he doesn't like going to London. Yeah, I had a look on um, FM Inside just now while this game was on and uh, I don't think they've got... Have they got a, like a community forum or something like that? I don't think they have, have they? If they have, I'll have a look later when I'm offline. Oh, oh, nearly. Yeah, I think if you live in London, I think public transport's probably the best way to go anyway, isn't it? Because it'll be so much quicker. Because you'll be stuck in traffic all day long if you drive through London.
I've got a few mates in London, they either get the tube or they just get Ubers everywhere. Because if they ain't got far to go, an Uber doesn't cost them a massive amount of money. Right, we're still winning 1-0, so that's good. Um, we could do with another goal though. Pedri with a beautiful ball to Yamal. Yamal with a chip, what a goal. That's going to be disallowed though, I think Yamal was offside if I was honest. Which is a shame. Yeah, that's a shame. Yes, Yamal gets his goal. Oh, for God's sake. Is this going to be disallowed as well? Just let the poor lad score a goal, for God's sake. Come on. Let him have this one. Ah, oh, you bookers. You meanies. What you got for tea tonight then, Bazinga? I, I reckon you're probably quite a healthy eater. I'm probably going to have um, mixed meat and chips. From the, from the chip shop. Ah, good, we can finally... We do that. No, hold on. We need to keep a certain amount for Messi. So we do that. Can we get an increase? No. Can we have any clauses? No. Right, where are we? 30th of November. Let me see if I can sign Lionel Messi now. Probably won't. Probably still too early. Has he got a minimum fee clause? No. Right, shall I offer 10 million? I'll offer 10 million. I might need to sell a few players first before I can bring Messi back. Get some more transfer funds in. Fair enough. I stand corrected. Yeah, I don't luckily I don't drink um hot drinks i'm a weirdo i don't drink hot drinks in i just have um a can of monster every couple of days i used to drink i used to drink a can of monster every day but it's uh it's not good for you rots your teeth so i just have one every like three like once or twice a week now but yeah i'm having um i'm having mixed meat and chips i think i'm, 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 I'm salivating with the thought of it now what you got for your tea then? Oh, they've accepted the offer. Um, have we got enough? So it only cost us 10 minutes. I hope that the board will just let us. Oh, you are joking. They don't think that. I'm sorry, but no. Ah. Oh. They won't let us sign Messi. Oh, this is a ball ache. The whole point of the bloody save is to sign Messi. Right, we'll try again in January. Hopefully the board will let us eventually sign him. The finances aren't the best at Barcelona though, so that doesn't help. Oh no, I'm not cheating. I haven't I haven't got the I have got the um the pre-game editor, but I'm not cheating. I want it. I want to try and I want it to be a natural progression thing. Uh, 
Um, my brother lived in London. I'll ask him if he wants to move back to London. I'll let you know. If he wants to move back to London and he wants to rent a room in your flat, I'll let you know, Bazinga, next time you're online. I don't think he wants to, though, because I think he wants to go travelling. So, um, But he lived in London for many years and quite likes it there. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to sort my webcam out. Just stay. There we go. You'll, uh, you'll definitely get some bloody roommates in London, won't you? See, if I was to have roommates, they'd have to be women to start off with. And I don't mean that for dodgy reasons. It's just women are cleaner than men. So that's the main reason. I'm in a, ha a very happy relationship, so I'm not meaning anything dodgy by that. Um, but yeah, I definitely prefer living with women than I do with men. Plus women are like tend to be a lot better roommates. They seem to be a lot uh, easier to get on. I, I get on with women better than I do with men. Yeah, I, I rang up about a, a flat because I need to move out where I am and I'm trying to find somewhere to live. And um, I rang up an estate agent the other day and they told me they have only just put this flat to rent an hour ago, the advert in an hour ago. And they've already had 20 people inquire about it. So it's a doggy dog world out there. How much are you able to charge for rent for the rooms? Unless you don't want to tell me, it's fine. Right, let's holiday to the next till the next game. Oh, we can't. We're playing next, don't we? That's why. Las Palmas next. Hello to anybody else in the Twitch chat. I assume it's um, Bazinga and Josh, but if there's anybody else in there, feel free to say hello. I haven't seen uh, Jurundi or Copsy in here for a while, so I'd like to see them come back. Especially Copsy, because I can uh, take the mick out of him, being a Liverpool fan. Uh, right, so here we go. We've got uh, Fay in the centre of defence for a change. So that tells me we are a bit short in the centre. Hold on, why can't you play there? Can you play there? Yeah, you're much better than... No offence to you, Fay, but... Um, yeah, Kundi's Kundi's there as well. Oh, okay. We'll just we'll just assume there's a reason for it. Right. Um yeah, let's go. 180 pounds for a room in a in a uh in a like house or a flat in um London isn't too bad at all really when you think about it. Is it is it 180 pounds a month or 180 pounds a week? I assume it's a month. Ugh. Good goal by Pedri. Yeah, a month. That's not too bad. Do um does does Brent have a football team, a decent football team? Maybe you could do like a non league thing where you where you take Brent all the way to the top. Might be an interesting save for you. Yamal, there you go, Yamal to Pedri. Oh beautiful Rafina. You still there Josh? He's probably working ain't you? Rafina loses the ball. God, we've done an hour already. Like a, it, it was the same as same yesterday. I only felt like I was in here five minutes, and then I would already gone. My voice is a bit croaky though because I have been recording videos today, so I do apologise. Right, Iliax. To Rafina, Rafina, back to Iliax. 
Iliax with a beautiful goal. He's done really well since he's come back. He was a good sign and he was. Oh, so Brent... Oh, okay. You got a new roommate already? Bloody hell, that was quick in the space of five seconds. Oh, that's good then. Well done. Congratulator from me. <laughs> tell, her, tell her to watch me on here. <laughs> she can talk to me about a uni, uh, a uni course. I'm, I'm, I'm always interested in what other people are doing. Oh, oh, sneaky goal that was. It's fine though. Oh, no goal. Right. It's fine. We're still 3 1 up though. It's fine. Oh, okay. That's good then. Now, well done. But yeah, why don't you do a save with Brentford? I know you're a Spurs fan, but um, Brentford is, an inter is always an interesting save just simply because of the. Like similar to Brighton because of their their like their transfer policy, the way they do things through data and stuff. Um, I'm on Twitter as well as Facebook, um, Bazinga. If you want to add me, just search for Lucha FM. You'll find me on both. Um, I usually post in there when I'm about to go on stream. But also, if you just need to ask me, like, stay in touch or ask me a question about something or whatever, or just need someone to talk to, just just add me on either and just inbox me. Always here for people if they need it. Sometimes I'm a bit busy though. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah. Right, they've got a free kick. <laughs> that was a good little free kick. That was a good, good setup there. We need to um, get our thumb out of our backside here. We don't want to be conceding any more goals in this game. Oh, okay, cool. Cheers, Bazinga. Thank you. I think you're probably the first person to follow me on Twitter on my new. Let me just check. I don't think I've got any notifications coming. Cool. Oh, it probably doesn't tell you, does it? I don't think... Oh, it does. Oh. Has your name Aman Hamani bin Min Sally Houdin? Is that you? That's not you, is it? No, of course it's not you. What am I about? I just had somebody f follow me on there, but I don't think it was you. Is it you? No, it's not you. No. Well, it hasn't come up yet. So, um, unless there's a, another Lucha FM out there that's pretending to be me, I don't know. I didn't think it was you, but I just wanted to double check just in case. Right, Cancelo. Oh, come on, we need to get another couple of goals, I think. Right, Martinez is coming off you playing poorly, so we'll put Faye on. And to Stigen, you're not coming off, or are you? Have we got another goal that we can put on for you? Nah, we'll leave you on. We ain't got it. There's no point risking it. We're still winning. Baldy. Baldy. Oh! I don't know what happened there. Oh no. That was the worst thing to do, that was. There we go. Get it, 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 get it. Oh, come on. Does that woman um does that woman that answered your advert, does she know anybody else that would want the other rooms? You could always rent them out to a mate. Or two, good stuff.
I was getting a bit worried then, thinking Las Palmas was going to get um, an equaliser, so that's made me happy. Oh, so you only got two rooms in the flat. Oh, okay. So that's already filled up. That's fine. I thought you had like other rooms as well on top of the ones that you've got that you needed to rent. That's very reasonable though. £188 for a room. I've seen rooms to rent in... Birmingham, which is not as nice as London, for way more than that. So you've, um, I don't know if you've undervalued that, but I suppose it, it doesn't, if it doesn't bother you, don't bother you. There must be a reason why it's so cheap. Yeah, but even a small flat in London, you're probably looking at, what, 400, well, at least 400, 500 pounds, if you include in bills as well. You could probably get like five hundred pounds a month for that room. I mean, you're nice. You're being nice about it. You're not like ripping people off. I wish there was more people like you. Landlords are scumbags, as far as I'm concerned. Not all of them, but most of them. Right. Nice little win here. Five two. Only lost one game all season so far, so that's good. We're only four points behind Real Madrid, and we've got two games. So they must have lost some points somewhere. Balde's out again. He's very injury-prone, Balde. Pedri's out for three weeks, great. And we've got a game in two days. I think some rotation is needed. Right, we're praising De Jong, Arujo, and Yamal. Uh, Pedro wants to leave, don't he? So we'll get rid of him. Gives us a bit of extra money and wages off the for Messi, hopefully. Yeah, you're doing a good thing, mate. You're doing a good thing. There should be more people like you. We should be kinder to people and try and help them a bit more. Who the hell is he? Do you go out much in London? Do you, do you enjoy the nightlife there? Right, we got Mallorca next. Uh, let's rotate a bit. So we got Pedro and Pocho. Alakon, they're the uh, midfield three. We've got Yamal up front, De Jong and Elax in midfield, and then the defence is pretty much the same. And then we've got this gentleman here making his debut in goal. Hopefully, that won't come back to bite us in the arse. Not that crowded in London, you must be doing all right. <laughs> I hate London because I, when, I, when I went, every time I've been, um, it's just been so crowded, I hate it. Especially when you're on the tube as well, when it's busy on the tube and you're all crammed in and you can't move. I think people that get used to it, though, my brother got used to it, he was fine. I'd probably get used to it as well eventually.
passing around nicely here. Let's hope it leads to a goal. Pocho. Yes, get in. Don't know why he's called Pocho when his name's Lucas Roman. But yeah. Do you ever play any network games with you with your mates on um, FM? Have you ever done that before? So your new roommate, she's from Korea, but she doesn't speak fluent Korean. Okay. So she's she's from Korea, but she's not Korean. Is that is that what I'm, is that what I'm gathering from that? I think. Um, I've just got to um, tinker with my glasses, so I'm just going to move my webcam that way for a second, so you won't be able to see me, but you can still see the game. Okay, fair enough. Well, if she if she's from Korea, she probably knows how to make Korean um, Korean ribs and things like that very nicely. So you might actually um, it might work out nicely for you. You might get some really nice meals if she's if she's a nice housemate. She might not cook for you. I don't know. Are you? Um, are you, if you don't mind me asking, you, I'm not. I'm not bothered about this. But are you English, or um, are you? Are you? Are you born and bred from London? I'm only asking because I'm always interested in people's backgrounds. I'm. I'm. I'm boring. I'm half English, half Scottish. Um, my girlfriend is a non-practicing Hindu Indian woman. British Indian woman, sorry. Um, she's really good at cooking. So I like, because she, she likes her food a little bit spicier than me, so I'm trying to get better. At, uh, she, laughed, she laughed at me because she said, what's my favourite curry? And I said, korma, and she just laughed. And then called me a wussy. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. Born in Manchester. Fair play. I nearly moved to Manchester last year. Um, but um, it didn't work out. Actually, I nearly moved to Warrington. And the the, the house I was going to rent, the guy wanted me to move within two weeks. And I just couldn't do that because I, would have, I, would, I wouldn't have been able to move that quickly. So in the end, it didn't work out. And, I, and, then, and, then, and then I end up chatting to... Um, on a dating website called Match.com, I end up chatting to the woman that ended up being my my girlfriend that I've been with for eight months now. So things work out for a reason. But yeah, if I could take my girlfriend, my friends, and my family and move them to Manchester, um, I would be living in Manchester. I still might one day. Right, free kick to us. Martinez. Mika Fay loses it, but we get it back. De Jong with a beautiful ball. Oh, look at that. It was a lovely goal. Is it going to be allowed, though? Probably not. It's Kingston University in London, then. Oh, the goal was allowed. That's good. 
Another lovely convincing win. I mean, we're going to win 99% of our league games, at least. It's just the two, the two teams we are going to struggle against mostly is going to be Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. I don't think we've played Real Madrid yet. We played Atletico Madrid. We did beat them. Oh, look at that. Luca, Lucas Roman gets another one. He's showing me he can get the job done up front. Get in. 4-1. Right, four points still, two games, that's fine. Let's have a look when we're playing Real Madrid. Oh my God, it's almost if I couldn't time that any better if I tried. We've got Real Madrid next game, the biggest game of the season for us. It's a good thing we uh, rested the players in this uh, this game instead of the, the game against Real Madrid. Big, big game here. If we win this, we're only one point behind them with a the game ahead of them. If we lose, yeah. I think it's a uh, goodbye. If we lose, that means they get 38 points. Um, I, mean, I mean, it's not mathematically impossible, but I pretty much don't think we're going to win the title if we lose this game. Still loads of the season left, though. It's only the 8th of December. I need more money so I can sign uh, Messi. I need to sell somebody. I'm selling Pedro. Um, I don't want him to be out on loan because he's going to become a first team player by the looks of it. So we'll stop that. Right, who else can we... Who, we've got such a small squad though. We can't really sell anybody. I don't want to sell a Rougeau, Torres or Pedri. I mean, do we sell Pedri? No, I don't want to sell Pedri. That's, that's not going to happen. Yeah, we've got such a small squad we can't sell anybody. we just got to hope the board gives us some more money at some point. But they won't because we're 26 million in the red. And uh, maybe we'll have to wait till the summer to sign him. I will try in January though. The board might eventually just let me sign him for, for the money that we pay. Right, Pedro. Oh, whatever. He moans and wants to leave. And then when I try and sell him, he moans. Oh, okay. Fair play to you. No, doing well. They're doing um, they're doing well in life. Then that's good. And um, is your mum a Man United fan or is she a Man City fan? Right, big big game here. Uh, Bazinga! If I go a bit. If I don't chat to you much in this game, don't take offence. It's just a very big game. I will chat to you in a couple of minutes once I've finished. I will try and answer you as best as I can. Right. They've got the first highlight corner to them. Let's... No, that's fine. We're all right with that. Oh, she doesn't watch football, your mum. Probably best idea, to be honest. I'm going, I'm going right off football lately. I don't really watch it anymore myself. I watch the occasional big Man United game, but... I watched the first half of Man United versus Newport County and I just couldn't be bothered to watch the rest. Get in! Free kick by us. Rafina, star player this season. Get in. 1 0. That's what we like to see. One point behind them now. We, yeah. Oh, we've still got two games, so if we, if we win this. Interesting. Interesting. It's not the end of the world if we draw this game, as long as we don't lose. We've still got a chance to win the title. Are we going to get another one? Oh, I thought we were going to get another one there. Yeah, no worries, mate. Uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in a minute, Buzz. Hello to anybody else in the Twitch chat while you're uh, while I'm waiting. Good tackle. Go on. I hope you're enjoying the the game here. The Barca boys are winning. Quite second half. 
Maybe it's the calm before the storm, as they say. Uh, Real Madrid in possession now. That's it, good. Good defending there by Martinez. They've still... No, we've headed it out. Oh, there we go. Rafina. Oh, go on. Go on. Oh. Got a bit too excited there. Right. We need to take De Jong off, but I don't think we've got anybody to put on for him. Uh, Pedri's just as knackered as he is. Faye. Faye I'll have to do. In fact, I can put a Rougeau in there. I just need to swap them back in a minute. Oh, thank God for that. Right, come on, let's get these subs on. There we go. All right. Faye, you. Oh, I thought Aruja could play in defensive midfield. Ah, there you go. Martinez will do the job. Actually, hold on. Sorry, I'm tinkering for the sake of tinkering here. Uh, all winning midfielder, defend. Right, we're doing well here. But 1 0 up. We. Hmm. Right, let's see how we get on. Oh no. Oh, thank you. Thank God for to Steigen. He doesn't get enough credit um, to start him. I think it's because that he plays in the Spanish league. It's not as popular as the English Premier League, I think. That's why everybody keeps saying that Alisson and Edison are the best goalies in the world. I think it's to start him, if I'm honest with you. Oh, that's a flipping wound. Oh, well done. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Big decision in this game is going to be allowed or not. Yes, get in. <laughs> Screw you, Real Madrid. Ah, here we go. We've got a corner as well. We're going to get a goal here. Come on, Rafina. Show you Brazilian magic. Oh, is that going to be a penalty? That was, I think it was slightly inside the box. It might be. VAR's checking. No, no penalty. Okay, fair enough. Free kick just outside the box. Rafina lines it up. Will he shoot? Will he cross? Crosses it in. Doesn't go anywhere. But that's fine. Oh, come on, Alakan. Right, good defending there. Right, a couple of minutes left. Let's see this game out now. Yes, get in, get in, go on. 1-0. Great result. One point behind them, two games to go. We are in the contention now. Right, two games time, we've got Celtic. We're definitely rotating players in this game. We don't need to win this game, we've already qualified. But yeah, if Baz doesn't come back, thank you for chatting away to me. Uh, I had a really nice conversation with you, in, uh, just in case you listen to this later. But yeah, thank you. Hello to anybody else. Uh, feel free to say hello in the Twitch chat. Still baffling me who recommended me. Whoever recommended me, thank you, by the way, if you're watching this. Um, means a lot to me. It might have ended up being um, me that recommended me on the Facebook group. Maybe that's where he found me. I'll ask him if he comes back. Baz, let me know if you're back. 
Um, I want to ask you about where you found me. Right, Pedro's gone. He had a short return. Moaned about his game time and then moaned when I transfer listed him. Right then. Oh, God, we've got to rotate. I nearly forgot them. Rotate. Full rotation. There we go. So we've got a very sort of rotate. The defence isn't that rotated, actually, to be honest. Uh, midfield's not that rotated. It's just a few of the attacking positions that are. Well, that's fine. Hello to anybody else that's just joined the Twitch chat. I've just gone from having one people to four people. So hello. Feel free to say hello in the chat. I'll give you a shout out. Uh, I'm coming off here about half full UK time, so that's in about 50 minutes time. Hopefully, we'll get to the January, start of the January window by that point. I'll have a look and see how many games there are for the rest of December in a minute. Balde's already coming off because he's knackered. Uh, we'll have to put Martinez there in a second. There we go. And then... Martinez, Cafe, there we go. I've got a corner, Cancelo. Beautiful goal, Mika Fay gets a goal. Josh will be happy. Josh, your boy Mika fay has got a header. Scored a goal. I meant to say he got a goal, scored from a header. Can't get the words out. Right, let's, uh, no, that's fine. Hopefully that's the end of the first half, near enough. Oh, we've got another highlight in our favour, corner. Doesn't lead to anything. We'll sound it counter-attack from this. <sighs> oh. oh, they do as well, that's annoying. Oh. VAR, they're going to give it a check. Ah, got awarded. Um, we've got a highlight now, Elax. Oh, Yamal, come on. Right, Yamal's not playing very well, so he's coming off and he's knackered as well. Torres could come on for him. De Jong's knackered, so we'll put on Gabby for you. Cancelo, you're tired, so we'll put on Rougeau for you. Hopefully that will make a positive difference to the team. Um, Kunde with the ball. Arujo. Oh, nearly. Um, I ordered another football shirt from uh, Mystery Football Shirt from Surprise Shirts dot co dot uk or dot com or whatever they're called. Um, I did give them specific instructions about wanting a bright colour. Um, I wanted like a cool looking shirt, really, something that stands out. Um, I was specific in saying I didn't want to say UK team. And um, the problem they had as well was they, because it was the FM edition that I clicked on, that I ordered, it meant it needed to be from a team 
that was uh, 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 that you were able to manage on FM, even though I did tell them specifically that I've got about a million editor files that make it that I have all the leagues and literally all every sing, every single country available. Um, they end up giving me a. Um, I won't tell you just yet in case I end up because I might do a YouTube um, series after I've done the Ray Progress one with this team. But basically, I'm very disappointed in the shirt. I won't lie. I was not happy. The problem they had as well is because it's it's um, size an issue as well. They've only got they've mostly got two up to two XLs in football shirts, so they've they're not got many in three or four XL. Um, and I need at least a like a three XL um, because football shirts are quite tight as it is. Yeah, Tottenham's had some nice kits though, haven't they? My dad's got that. Um, do you remember that anniversary shirt they had where it was half blue and half white? He's still got that one, I think, somewhere. Uh, he's never. He's not worn it much though. I got. I got my dad two years ago for Christmas. I got my dad a Jimmy Greaves signed shirt. Um, in the in in like um, in a frame. So he was he was quite happy with that. So yeah, Baz, you know, um, you said you found me on somewhere. Was it on Facebook by any chance? Is that where you found the recommendation for the channel? Was it on Facebook? Because it might have been me posting it on Facebook. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to rule that out. Okay. It's going to baffle me all, all, all day, that is. Was it, a, was it like a football manager website that you found the recommendation on, or was it on a social media thing? No, that's all right, mate. Don't worry. Uh, just message when you when you're back. I'm just curious about. I'm just trying to figure it out where you where you saw the recommendation on. Was it on a social media thing or was it on a a football manager website type of thing like FM Inside, for instance? Right, we've got Rail Betis next. Right then. Um, right, so we've got Tostigan in goal, Cancelo, Arujo, Martinez, and uh, Mika Faye in defence, uh, Eglax and Gavi in midfield, Yamal on the right, Felix in the middle, Rafina on the left, and Fran Torres up front. 
Uh, also, we got we have got Vitor Roque coming in in January, so he will be very much um, much needed because we are lacking strikers. We have been doing pretty well with what we've got though in Felix and uh, Ferran Torres though. But I think we do miss that out and out striker. And hopefully we can also try and sign Lionel Messi in January as well. But that will probably be the next stream tomorrow. Because I need to I need to try and get some money in somehow. I think it, I might have to sacrifice Pedri because he wants to go. So if I get a big offer for Pedri. I can use some of that money to bring in Messi. But the board won't let me anyway, to be honest. Paul Yamali he always gets his goal disallowed, doesn't he? Is this disallowed, though? Hello, we go. So, Baz, you know, um, was it like a, a football manager website that you found, the link to me? Or was it on a social media thing? Was it on, like, Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or anything like that? YouTube, maybe? Oh, so like Twitch just recommend random channels, do they? Okay, I see what you mean now. Sorry, mate. I thought somebody like recommend me on their on their channel. That's all. But that's good though that Twitch recommended me. It's nice to, that they're promoting me. So that's good. Oh, that's not good though. That's not good. One one. You're going back to Brighton. You might as well move to Brighton at this point, aren't you? I'll see if Josh, I'll see if my mate Josh has a spare room. See if he'll rent it out to you. Josh was on earlier, but he's disappeared, so I think he's working. He'll probably pop back up at some point. Hello to anybody else in the Twitch chat. Feel free to join in. And in, in there. Can't get my words out today. Feel free to say hello. Join in the chat. Ask me anything about the same or football or wrestling or whatever. So Baz, are you a wrestling fan? Right, Yamal gets fouled. But, oh no, is he going to be sent off? I think he is. Oh no, he doesn't. Okay. Hello, Goku. Bloody hell, I haven't seen you for a while. How are you? Are you alright? Who was your favourite wrestler as a kid, Bazinga? Ah! That's annoying. Right. Oh my god, we're not we're now like fifth, fourth. There is only one point behind me and Real Madrid though. Um right. Yeah, Stone Cold. I've got a Stone Cold hoodie I still wear to this day actually. Um Goku, who's your favourite wrestler again? I can't remember. Oh, I can't believe we bloody lost the Real Betis. Oh, it's your fault, Goku. I think we all tried to stone cold stunner everybody when we were kids, didn't we? I used to always do the thing where he sticks his fingers up before he does the thing as well. So like every time I try and go for a stunner on my mate Tim, he knew exactly what I was going to do because I couldn't do it without without sticking my fingers up to him. So it kind of I did that, and he knew straight away I was going to try and stun him. So it was a bit of a, a bit of a rubbish one. 
It was funny. What have you been up to, Goku? Anything exciting? What you what gaming have you been doing? What games have you been playing lately? Uh, I've been all right, mate. I I had to start a new. I decided to start a new Twitch save because I wasn't I wasn't into the European Journeyman save, and by the looks of it, nobody else was as well. Um, so yeah, so I started this Barca save where I'm only signing former Barca players. So uh, the main aim is to sign Messi. That's a thought. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can approach him again. Uh, remove that. And then... Uh, after 40 appearances... No, no, no. No, wrong one, wrong one. After... That's it, that's one. After league appearances... Uh, we'll go 5... Damn it, we'll go 10. Oh, come on, board. Vids. <gasps> oh, oh, we're going to get messy. We're going to get messy. Sorry for sounding like a five-year-old there. Um, I think we're going to sign Lionel Messi earlier than I thought. Yeah, I've been playing a bit of EAFC 24, doing the um, objectives, just just because I like doing things like that. I don't really like playing FIFA, I just like doing the objectives. Yeah, across the water, in, in uh, I, like, I like to live in sunny places, so I'm now living in sunny Barcelona. Right, let's see who we're playing in the Champions League. Right, let's just start draw. Speed, and we'll just do this, advance. Lazio are playing Borussia Dortmund. Freynoid, Freynoid are playing PSG. Inter are playing Benfica. Arsenal are playing us. There you go. Bayern Munich are playing Red Bull Salzburg. Celtic are playing Real Madrid. Newcastle are playing AC Milan. Lips, Red Bull Leipzig are playing Man City. There you go. We've got Arsenal next round. Right, we haven't got a game for 16 days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on holiday and then we're going to find out when we come back off holiday if I've signed the legend that is Lionel Messi. Is pro clubs um, what's pro pro clubs is basically where you where you manage any where you where you play as any team, don't you? You can play like Man United as Man United, Barcelona, or whatever. I haven't done that yet because I'm not very good, so um, I don't want to get humiliated and get downhearted playing the game. Oh, okay. So, like, literally, you're in. You're you could be like a defender, and you're in a team with about with about six or seven other people or whatever, and then you're playing against other people. I might start doing that. Actually, I might enjoy that myself. Is there a lot of like? Do you get to interact with people while you're playing it? I'm gonna have to be up front though because I can't defend to save my life. I'll have to join you at some point, Goku. Baz, do you play EF EAFC when you get chance?
Yeah, at some point, mate. Um, just um, if you haven't added me on Facebook yet, just just search me Lucha FM on there and just add me, or on Twitter, and then just whenever you think like you want to have a game or something, at some point, just let me know, and if I'm free, I'll play you. I'm with my I, I'm I'm quite, I'm free mo I'm free this week most of the time on an evening, but um, usually on an evening I've got my partner with me, so yeah, but yeah, I'll definitely give you a game. We'll get Josh to play as well, Goku, and then we'll see if Baz wants to join in. We'll try and start our own little Lucha FM community team or something like that. There you go. Did you watch the Rumble, uh, Luca? Luca, sorry, Goku. Did you watch the Rumble? Did you enjoy it? What, did you, what was your favourite match? I like the, um, I think the the women's rumble match was the best match. I wasn't too happy with the men's rumble match. I didn't, I didn't. There was barely any surprises. It wasn't really. It just felt a bit flat. Oh, you watched the Rumble, not the latest one. Which Rumble did you watch then? Was it the 1992 Royal Rumble, the greatest Royal Rumble match of all time? Did you watch the Rumble as well, Baz? Are you much of a... I suppose you don't watch it recently. You probably just watched it before when you were younger. Right, I'm returning from holiday early. I want to see if I sign Messi. I don't want to wait. Right, let's see. Ah, oh, into Miami rejected it. Right, add as a transfer target. Add. Let's see if that'll work. We will sign Messi if it kills me. Why that? Oh, okay. It's all right. Uh, we'll keep him because we haven't got a backup goalie. Offers made to Takahashi. Is he a goalie? No. Okay. Oh, okay. You might as well make the most of it because... If it goes on Netflix, they might not have all the classic footage. So make the most of it on the WWE Network for now, for the rest of the year. Because I've got a feeling they're going to be picky and choosy about what events you'll be able to watch from the past on there. I could be wrong. They'll probably, they might just have a separate section of, uh, uh, on Netflix for the WWE Network. And then it might just be literally just the WWE, WWE Network. But you just click on Netflix and it's there. We don't know yet. Ah, there we go. We're going to sign the other, the, the greatest ever player other than Lionel Messi, Deli Ali. Uh, no. no, you didn't tell me. Oh no. Bloody Bayern Munich. Did um, Harry Kane score the deciding penalty as well? That must have been a wound of Goku. Right, Vita Roque is in here. Let's have a look at him. Yeah, he's definitely what we need. Striker. Hopefully he'll go straight into the first team. Yeah, Lionel Messi. Ah, balls. Um, now what do we do? Right. Ask agent about 
availability. Oh, Lionel, Lionel Messi wouldn't be interested this time. He's only just joined his new club. He's been there six months. Right, I don't think we're signing. We'll try again in a, in a week or two. Um, if you want this player, you're going to have to offer me 120 million. No, that's what I thought. There you go. Oh, it's still in your team. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But at least you won the treble, though. At least you won the premiership. At least Harry Kane finally got some silverware. I will laugh, though, if Bayern Munich somehow don't win the Ger the German League while Harry Kane's there and he doesn't win anything. That would be hilarious. Ah, oh, a Rougeau hands in transfer request. Have you got anything exciting planned for the rest of the day, Goku? I think Baz has left. I don't know if he's there anymore. Baz, if you're still there, say hello, mate. If you're not, thank you for contributing if you listen to this. Oh, he's here. That's right, Baz. <laughs> what about you, Baz? Are you doing anything exciting this evening? Is there any football on? I think Man United's playing today, aren't they? Who Man United playing today? Let's have a quick look. Right. Oh, they're not playing today. They're playing tomorrow. Liverpool versus Chelsea tonight, though, for a neutral. Tottenham, hey, here you go, uh, Bazinga. Tottenham versus Brentford tonight. So the team that you support versus versus the team that you live uh, in the place that you live at. So um, yeah, Man United are playing Wolves tomorrow at quarter past eight. So I should be watching that. Yeah, Luton. Fair play to Luton. Um, they're surprising a few people this season. I, I wasn't expecting them to win against Brighton. Oh, I forgot to talk to Josh about that. Josh is a Brighton fan. Josh, he's still there. Let me know so I can take the mick out of you for losing to Luton. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all right, mate. No worries. Um, Bazinga, thank you for joining in. I had a really nice chat with you. Um, I hope it all goes well with the new tenant. Um, feel free to come back on here tomorrow if you're free. Yeah, that's fine, mate. I'll be on from about two-ish tomorrow. So, um, yeah, thanks again. Enjoy your evening, buddy. Goku, did you say you were watching Spurs tonight? Are you going to watch the game? I think Spurs versus Brentford will be quite an ent entertaining game for a neutral. I mean, Tottenham like to score goals, but they also like to let in goals. Right. Uh, oh, Roku's not playing. Why is Roku not playing? He's not even in the on the subs bench. Maybe he's not available. We'll soon find out. I thought you said you were going up to Goku. Did I just read that? Did I read that wrong? I swear, I swear you said. I swear you said you're going to watch Spurs tonight or something like that. Maybe I've got that wrong, mate. Sorry. I'm not the best at reading things properly. Oh, up the Spurs, as in up the... Yeah, okay, I get it now. Up the Spurs, come on. 
Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I think it'll be a good entertaining game though. I might watch match of the day for the for the first time ever tonight. I might record that. I stopped recording it because I was recording it every weekend and then never really had time to watch it. So I just stopped what stop recording it. Not I've just gone off football. I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. I think it's because I'm a Man United fan, that's probably why. I'm sick of Man United losing all the time. Yeah, you need to keep you need to keep going, don't you? Because you need to get at least top six for the season, really. I don't want your manager to get sacked, but I think if he just, if he doesn't do well, he will get sacked at the end of the season, won't he? Which will be a shame because I think I think he's a really good man manager. He reminds me a bit of Harry Redknapp. He's not the best, probably tactical manager or anything like that, but he's really good man manager, and he plays some really entertaining football as well. Which is what you've wanted at Spurs for ages after the Mourinho and that other Portuguese manager that you had. Yeah, hopefully he can turn things around. Failing that, wait and see, wait for Pochettino to get sacked from Chelsea and then you can always bring him back. Because you know Pochettino's going to go back to Spurs at some point, it's just going to happen, isn't it? Even if he has managed um, Chelsea. You don't want Poch back, fair enough. I'd, I'd take Sir Alex Ferguson back any time, I don't care how old he is. I'd have, I'd have him I'd have him instead of bloody Tenai. Tenag, whatever his name is. Yeah, but I wouldn't I mean he had them players, but I wouldn't necessarily blame it on Potacino. It was more the players I think bottled it. Um, what's going on here? Why is the game? Oh, there we go. Penalty awarded. I wonder what was going on then. Okay. Why are you taking so long? Come on. What's going on? Right. Rafina lines up the penalty. Almeria, Almeria down to 10 men as well. So we should comfortably win this now. Right, we've got another free kick here. Rafina lines it up. Will he score? No. Nah. Yeah, maybe he wasn't the best when it comes to like tactical decisions, Potocino, but I always rated him at Spurs. I thought, to be honest, that, that season that Spurs had, um it was a great it was great entertainment for everybody involved. That Champions League run. Get in, Rafina. Go on, second goal of this game. Uh, we'll leave it for now. Who did he drop? I can't remember. Was it did he drop Harry Kane? Was it Harry Kane? I can't remember.
Oh yeah, Mora. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It's a shame what happened with him at Spurs because he. I think he left after that, didn't he? After that season. If I'm wrong, but he was really good when he was there, wasn't he? Penalty to us. Rafina to get his hat trick. Yes, he does. Well done, Rafina. Right. Rafina, you're going to come on. I oh, know you can't leave it. There we go. Yeah, Harry Winks never lived up to his potential, did he? Is he still at Leicester? What was that goal he doing then? To Stoygen? What the hell was that? Do you want to watch this goal, Goku? Have a look at this mistake here. You probably saw it, but let's watch it again. Look at this. What the hell was my keeper doing here? Look at that. That was balmy. I'll have a quick look. I'll see where Harry Winks is. I think he's still at Leicester. Yep, yeah, still at Leicester. Yeah, yeah, I know. The thing is with Spurs, they're very lucky that they were able to get rid of a lot of their rubbish players. Whereas Man United, because of the stupid contracts we give the players, we weren't able to shift them. Hence why we've had players like Harry Maguire still there for so long. So count yourself lucky that you were able to get Harry uh, get rid of Harry Winks. Right, I'm going to play... Um, Goku, I'm going to play one more game and then I'm going to call it a day um, for anybody else that's watching as well. Um, my stomach's rumbling too much. It's uh, it's affecting my concentration. I'm getting a bit tired as well. Yeah, I think I think this this January transfer window, by the way, has probably been the quietest transfer window I've ever witnessed. There we go, Deli Ali coming in in the summer. Can I buy him now? I can. There you go. Best eight hundred grand I've ever spent. Look at that, Deli Ali at Barcelona. Who'd have thought it, eh? Look at that, beautiful, beautiful man. If we get Messi and we've got a team with Deli Ali and that and Leo Messi, we're gonna be unstoppable, Goku. Unstoppable. Why am I selling Deli Ali? That's a good question you ask. I signed Deli Ali. I signed Deli Ali in every one of my saves. I always rated them at Spurs. I know he he went downhill after a while, um, but then I watched his interview with Gary Neville, and I am a sufferer of mental health issues myself, and I thought it was really brave of him to admit to the abuse he went through and the, and what happened with that. So ever since then. In literally every FM save I've ever done, I've always signed Deli Ali at some point, even if I never play him. He's my little good luck charm. So there you go. And the, and the few times he has played, um, when I was doing a, a Newcastle save, for instance, he did he did he did quite well when he come on as a, uh, on the subs bench. So I'm hoping he does the same here. I've got a very small squad as well, so I reckon he'll definitely get the subs get on the subs bench at some point. You never know, one day I might get a Barcelona shirt with Ali Ali's name and number on it. But yeah. Now nah, fair play to him. Um 
it's a shame his career didn't work out the way it did. He, he had such potential. He's basically what, like, he's basically the, he was a prototype for Bellingham, wasn't it? Bellingham, sorry. Um, Jude Bellingham. So I'm hoping that Jude Bellingham doesn't have, like, two or three seasons doing really well and then just pitter out. I'm hoping that doesn't happen to him. I don't think it will. I just wish Man United signed June Bellingham, but he wasn't impressed with our youth facilities and stuff, training facilities and stuff like that, so he went to Dortmund, and I don't bloody blame him. But yeah, Bellingham at Man United would have been immense. Right then, last game of the stream. Let's see how we get on. Um, I don't think there's any major changes. Is Roku on the bench yet? Deli Ali's on the bench, so that's good. Is Roku not in the squad? What's going on with Roku? Where is he? Squad registration, maybe? Yeah, is he in the team? Right, let's try it now. See if it'll let me pick him now. Ah, there we go. No, it's not done anything. Is Roku on the bench though? Mm, that's weird. Okay, fair enough. Right, we'll just see how we get on. Deli Ali to come on and score the winner, I reckon. Yeah, I think I think Deli Ali has got it in him to 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 go on and do well, but I just think he needs a fresh start, and I don't think it's in England. I think he needs to go somewhere like Spain or Italy. I think the problem with Deli Ali is the people that he probably hung out with, and I think that affected his career. Also, Jose Marino didn't do a very good job either, did he? I think he ruined any confidence that Deli Alli had. You look at Deli Alli playing under Pochettino and then Deli Alli playing under Marino, and it's just like night and day, isn't it? Right, let's see if we can get a win to end this stream on. Yeah, get in. Torres, mmm, gold is allowed, I think. He started off well with Jose. Oh, did he? I didn't think he did. I think as soon as... I, in my head, I feel like as soon as Marino was in charge, it was um, all downhill for Ali. I remember that documentary. You know that documentary, the top one on Amazon Prime? The way that Marino was with Deli Ali at times. Don't worry, Deli Ali didn't help himself, but... Mourinho could have done better. It's that old school manager style where they just shout at the player because the player's not doing what they want, want to do. Young people don't react to that anymore. They just they just end up downing tools and sulking if you start telling them off. You have to be a bit more clever. Yeah, 2-0. Good, good, good. Even though Torres is a striker, he's doing well this season. I mean, he can play as a striker, but he's more of a winger. Um, yeah, he's a good little player. I think in the long run, I think we'll have to sell him at some point. I don't think he's good enough. That's a thought. I could, I could maybe look in the summer to get rid of Torres just to get some money in, and then maybe bring in Messi. That might be the plan. Sacrifice Torres for Messi. I'd rather do that than sell Pedri. Yeah, probably. Mourinho does get the the media involved, though, doesn't he? He likes he, he likes all that. That's why the media lo uh, love him because they get loads of uh, quotes and things like that off him. He's not stupid, Mourinho. He's a very clever man. Well, 
I mean, he must be doing something right to convince clubs to still hire him as a manager in 2024. Right, Deli Alley's making his debut. Um, we've got a problem here, though, because we've got Faye, who's a defender. So if we just pop in here, there we go. And then we'll put Deli Alley here. There we go. Problem solved. You didn't mind Mourinho? I hated Mourinho at Man United. And my dad used to take the mick out of me. And then it was so funny that Mourinho left and then ended up managing Spurs. I was like, ah, now you know how it feels because my dad being a Spurs fan. I was like, now you know how it feels. You can suffer now. Oh, go on, Deli. Oh, I thought Deli Ali was going to score on his debut then. Oh. Unbelievable. I'm going to try and give Deli Ali as much game time as possible. I think that's what, uh, as it like coming off the subs bench. Give him 20 minutes a game, see what he can do. Right then, on that note, I'm going to leave you to it, Goku. Um, thank you for coming into the chat. Um, but yeah, just um, feel free to pop along. I always appreciate you joining in. Uh, usually I'm from about 2 o'clock till 4 o'clock. So yeah, so thanks, Goku. Thank you to Bazinga and Josh as well for contributing. Um, but yeah, just feel free to pop in again, Goku. Much appreciated, mate. Um, give me a follow on Twitch as well, so at least you know when I'm going to be. If you're not already following me, at least you know then. But yeah, have a good night, buddy. All the best. Thank you. Right, on that note, everyone, I'm off. See you later. Bye.